my name is Iris Franz and today we're going to continue to talk about absolute and comparative advantage. In particular, I want to show you how we apply absolute and comparative advantage in our daily life without even knowing it. Know that this concept doesn't just apply to international trade, but to our daily life. And I'm going to use the example of a couple, Gregor and Iris, to illustrate that. So Gregor is my husband and Iris is myself. And this is their um, introduction. So we have uh, their education level, their salary, cooking skill, as well as their childcare ability. So Gregor and Iris both have a PhD in economics. But uh, when it comes to salary, because Gregor works for the private industry, so he makes a lot more money than Iris. And Iris is a teacher. So um, we all know that teacher is not a job that you can make a lot of money, even though Iris is very happy teaching economics. So when it comes to salary, Iris has only one dollar sign, because I can't give you the figure, but Gregor has a dollar sign. So Gregor is making a lot more money than Iris. And when it comes to cooking skill, Gregor we award him with four chef hats because he's a great cook. Um, because when he was growing up, he used to uh, skip classes and uh, bake at home. So um, he can do a lot of he can cook a lot of different dishes. He can grill a whole steak, he can make ratatouille, which is a famous uh, French vegetable dish. And he can bake apple pie, he can bake cookies, and he can also make noodles, German noodles from scratch. Um, this word is the noodle, I don't know how to pronounce it. So um, we award him four chef hats, he's a really good cook. Um, but Iris, because she was growing up from Asia and she was only studying to death at that time. So she didn't do any chores, she only knew how to study. And after she got married, she managed to cook several dishes, but they are not great dishes. So she, she knows how to make chicken masala, she knows how to make steam fish, which is a little bit boring to the kids, but you know what, they, they try to eat it. And uh, the best thing she can make is chocolate mousse. So we award Iris with two chef hats. And when it comes to childcare, Gregor is a very patient dad and he's really laid back, so children all love to hang out with him. So um, we award him with four smiley faces when it comes to childcare. What about Iris? Well, Iris is a little less patient and sometimes uh, when the children make her crazy, she will yell at them. So um, we award her with uh, two smiley faces. So now you can see that Gregor has an absolute advantage in just everything. In salary, in cooking skill, and in childcare. And Iris has an absolute disadvantage in everything. Uh, she has only one dollar sign, two chef hats, and two smiley faces. So does it mean that Iris is useless? Uh, I hope you don't say that because that will make me sad. But the real reason is that Iris has a comparative advantage in childcare and cooking. Let's see how it works. So um, if Gregor wants to take care of the children, to produce one smiley face, and how many dollar signs does he have to sacrifice? Well, he will have to sacrifice two dollar signs in order to um, provide um, one smiley face in childcare. How about Iris? Well, she has two smiley faces, right? And only one dollar sign. And therefore, to produce one smiley face, she only has to sacrifice a half of a dollar sign. So, look, Iris has a lower opportunity cost when she provides childcare uh, compared to Gregor. So Iris has a comparative advantage in childcare. And also, um, when it comes to cooking, Iris will have a lower opportunity cost in providing cooking compared to Gregor for the same reason. Because Iris only has to sacrifice a half a dollar sign to provide a chef hat, whereas Gregor will have to sacrifice the two dollar signs to provide a chef hat. So you can see that even though Iris has an absolute disadvantage in everything, she still has a comparative advantage when it comes to childcare and cooking. So as your intuition suggests, Gregor will be focusing on bringing home a paycheck and Iris will take care of the cooking and childcare. So you can see how we're using the concept of absolute and comparative advantage every day without even knowing it, without even thinking about it. And that's also true for our daily life. Typically for um, a family, we have a mom and a dad, and typically dad brings home a bigger paycheck. And the mom takes care of the children, takes care of the laundry and cooking. And of course there are 
exceptions. We heard about alpha wives, right? Alpha wives are the wives who are bringing a bigger paycheck than their husbands. And in that case, the husband will take care of the children, the husband will go to the parent-teacher conference, and the husband will do the laundry and take care of the cooking. So you can see how we're using this concept in our daily life without even knowing it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, please share with your friends. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your studying!